All right, guys, this is Friday, May 5th. I just watched the uh, startling Satan Con video, you guys. The Satan Con, where they rip the Bibles, rip the Bible, the pages of the Bible, our holy, blessed Bible, and they unbaptize Christians. It was on the news today. I just saw it. And... Um, or not the news necessarily today, but, you know, the Satan Con's been going, this Satan convention. It's gotten completely out of hand, you guys, because Satan is the, um, he is, you guys, he is the master of deception, master of lies. And when I watched that video, I was like deeply, deeply, deeply horrified because Satan is is the devil and to worship Lucifer, to worship Satan. And it's, it's, it's just wrong. You guys, it's, it's wrong. You can't be doing these things. You can't be reading, ripping the Bible open like that. Um, unbaptizing Christian, unbaptizing people. It's just, and the people, the Satan convention people, they, they use tricks and lies and saying that, oh, the, uh, the, they're saying that hell is not real and it's, it's just in our, uh, imagination and it's, it's, that's, that's, that's the little things they try to plant little seeds so that that way we can fall, but we're, we're stronger than that, you guys. We don't fall for any of that trash. And so any of Satan's trash, we will not fall for those. He is the master of deception, the master of all lies, of all evil and deception and, and deceit, you guys. He is, the, he is the devil. He is Lucifer. And so... Um, we can never bow down to him, to Satan worships, even out of mockery of Satan. Like, I can't believe that people are even, they're trying to say, oh, he's, it's, it's an essence that he's not of it. It's like, they don't, they don't believe in Satan, that even Satan is real, but, but yet they call themselves Satanists, Satan worshipers. I mean, you guys, this is, this is how they try to get you. They think that, by saying, oh, yeah, Satan is not real. Join this Satan group, Satan convention, Satan God. We don't believe in Satan. We don't worship the, you know, call him the devil, call him our God. Yet we do the, <laughs> the sacrifices on the altar for him. And we rip up the holy word of God, the Bible, because that's how Satan wins and Lucifer wins. And we fall into these, you know, black magic, and and it's just it's 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 wrong, and and it's it's the work of the devil, you guys. It's it can only be the work of the devil's doing, having position over the people, over people. Demons within the demons within your soul has taken over is the problem. That's why these, and I saw it was getting so bad that even the public school kids are having. Like in Illinois and in other states, they were having, it's on the news, on the Daily Wire. I just saw it. It's, they just released it like four days ago, four hours ago, but I ended up watching today on this Friday, um, May 5th today. And I was, I was, I was shocked out of belief. I was so disgusted and, but it was good that, you know, they were doing the Holy Rosaries to stand up against it. Um, people were playing, praying the rosary and using, doing it in the microphones, in the, um, praying the ro rosary at this Satan con, the Satan convention, loud in the speaker systems with the blow or with the, um, you know, the PA system, like with their voice like that or whatever it's called. You guys, you guys know, but they were saying the rosaries to try to defeat Satan, to defeat this army, this Satan convention. And they're even having Satan clubs, you guys. They're promoting it for children. They're bringing Satan books, like, for kids, for little babies, for 
it's it's just getting so out of hand nowadays that this is the time where we need to fight where we need to read our holy bible the most and we can't be messing around like that and especially with satan satan con satan convention allowing the kids to have a satan club worshiping club in the public school and after hours that the parents sign the waivers sending their kids off away to these uh satan clubs that they worship satan and they it's it's, it's just wrong you guys i can't believe how the world has gotten gotten this far and it's 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 a shame, you guys. It, it truly is shaming. Shaming God. To, to shame God the Father, to shame Jesus like that, into making the devil even more powerful than him and trying to have him control your life instead of God and Jesus and goodness and truth and life, it's, it's just wrong beyond all ways, you guys. And Satan will always lose in the end. So if you worship him, you're not going to... You're not going to hear you guys. You're not going to win because God will always triumphant. I'm wearing this as a dog tag, you guys. Dog tag of Jesus right there. And of the Sacred Heart of Jesus right there. And then with the Sacred Heart and then the Virgin Mary and Jesus. Maybe even Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and her son, baby Jesus there, King, King Jesus, baby King Jesus, and so, for Jesus with the king, with the crown on his head, and so, because um, Jesus is king, he was young, he was born king, he was destined to be the ruler of the world, the ruler of the, na of everything, Jesus, and so, and God, and, and, uh, and, you know, God the Father, and Jesus will triumph in Satan, you guys. So don't be going to these Satan conventions. Don't be worshiping them. Don't be bowing down before Satan, these fake gods, these pagan gods, any trickery of the devil or, or any kind of these things. Because it's, it's, it's just wrong, you guys, beyond all belief. And I want to be there, front lines, doing the rosaries with them, too, at the same conventions. If I had one in Kansas, you know, if there was one in Kansas, I, you know, I would read, lead the rosary rallies against that Satan convention, too. Do the pro-life rallies with them, be the loudest supporter in the crowd that I can, you know, with the blow horns and everything, too. And so, because when you go against the Satan convention, you guys... I'm tired of listening to this trash on the news. It's it's complete just chaos. And so when the world gets chaotic, it goes for chaos, we go even stronger, you guys. We get stronger in the faith and we don't mess around. We don't let them mess us. We can't let them mess with us you guys and our bible and god the father because he will vanquish and triumph triumphant over them he will slay that satan and that satan convention and all his followers and all his and all lucifer and satan's wicked people only the chosen children of israel the baptized christians will prevail in the end of times and will destroy satan and lucifer and all the evil spirits and the devils and god the father will be our savior and leader in this battle in the fight in the good fight with our christian brothers and sisters we will vanquish the satan con every satan convention every devil every evil every lucifer every demonic possessed thing in this land in the world in all kind will be released from our angelic forms of holiness pureness that god will 
so bless us if we choose and desire to follow and, and to pursue his army by making him our one and only true God above all things, above all other gods, and to trusting him with all our heart, never denying him, never failing him, never letting him down. To the moment of our death, we will vanquish Satan and Lucifer with God and Jesus and the Virgin Mary and St. Padre Pio, and all the saints and all the angels who would join them in battle. And with that, we will begin with a prayer before we read the Second Kings chapter 16. In the name of the Father, in the name of that, the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, you are the one. The best. Jesus Christ. Our only one true and beloved Lord. Our God. Our Savior. Thank you God. For all that you do. All that you provide. All that you give us. Peace, hope, truth, and life. With you God. And we believe in you God. With all our heart, all our strength, all our might. And in you, Jesus, we shall never lose in life. In your name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Card. Chapter. Chapter 16. Has of Judah. In the seventeenth year of Pekah, son of Ramali, son of Ramalia, Ahaz, son of Jotham, king of Judah, began to reign. Ahaz was twenty years old when he became king, and he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. He did not please the Lord his God, like his forefather David, but conducted himself like the kings of Israel, and even immolated, immolated his son by fire in accordance with the in accordance with the abominable practice of the nations whom the Lord had cleared out of the way of the Israelites. Further, he sacrificed and burned incense on the high places, on the, on hills, and under leafy. And under every leafy tree, then Rezin, king of Aram, and Pekah, son of Ramaliah, Ramaliah, king of Israel, came up to Jerusalem to attack it. Although they bes they besieged Ahaz, they were unable to conquer him. At the same time, the king of Edom recovered Elath from Edom, driving the Judeans out of it. The Edomites then entered Elath, which they have occupied until the present. Meanwhile, Ahaz sent messengers to Tigalath, Pelasar, king of Syria, with the, plea, with the plea, I am your servant, your son. Come up and rescue me from the clutches of the king of Aram and the king of Israel who are attacking me. Ahaz took the silver and gold that were in the temple of the Lord and in the palace treasuries, and sent them as a present to the king of Assyria, who listened to him and moved against Damascus, which he captured. He deported its and he deported its inhabitants to Kerr and put Rezin to death. King Ahaz went to Damascus to meet Tiglath Pileser, king of Assyria. When he saw the altar in Damascus, King Ahaz sent to Uria the priest a model of the altar and a detailed design of its construction. Uriah the priest built an altar according to the plans which King Ahaz sent from Damascus and had it completed by the time the king returned home. On his arrival from Damascus, the king inspected this altar, then went up to it and offered sacrifice on it. Burning his holocaust, and Cyril offering, pouring out his libation, and sprinkling the blood of his bronze, and sprinkling the blood of peace offerings on the altar, the bronze altar that stood before the Lord he brought from the front of the temple, that is from the space between the new altar and the temple of the Lord, and set it on the north side of his altar. Upon the large altar, King has commanded. Uriah the priest burned the morning holocaust and 
the evening cereal offering, the royal holocaust and cereal offering, as well as the holocaust's cereal offerings and libations of the people. You must also sprinkle on it all the blood of holocaust and sacrifices, but the old bronze altar shall be mine for consultation. Uriah the priest did just as King Ahaz had commanded. King Ahaz detached the frames of detached the frames from the bases and removed the layers from them. He also took down the bronze sea from the bronze oxen that supported it and set it on a stone pavement. In defense to the king of Assyria, he removed from the temple of the Lord the emplacement which had been built in the temple for a throne and the outer entrance for the king. The rest of the acts of Ahaz are recorded in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Judah. Ahaz rested with his ancestors and was buried with them in the city of David. His son Hezekiah succeeded him as king. Chapter 17. Hoshea of Israel. In the twelfth year of Ahaz, king of Judah, Hoshea, son of Elah, began his nine-year reign over Israel in Samaria. He did evil in the sight of the Lord, yet not to the extent of the kings of Israel before him. Shalmaneser, the Shalmaneser king and Shalmaneser king of Assyria advanced against him, and Hoshea became his vassal and paid him tribute. But the king of Assyria found Hoshea guilty for found Hoshea guilty of conspiracy for sending envoys to the king of Egypt at Sias, and for failure to pay the annul tribute to his Assyrian overlord. For this the king of Assyria arrested and, and, and imprisoned Hoshea. He then occupied the whole land and attacked Samaria, which he besieged for three years. In the ninth year of Hoshea, the king of Assyria took Samaria and deported the Israelites to Assyria, settling them in Hala, at the heart at the Heber, a river of Gozen, and in the cities of the Medes, this came about because the Israelites sinned against the Lord, their God, who had brought them up from the land of Egypt, from under the dominion, from under the domination of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And because they venerated other gods, they followed the rights of the nations whom the Lord had cleared out of his way, whom the Lord had cleared out of the way of the Israelites and the kings of Israel whom they set up. They adopted unlawful practices towards they adopted unlawful practices toward the Lord their God. They built high places in all their settlements. The watchtower the watchtowers, as well as the walled cities. They set up pillars and sacred poles for them. They set up pillars and sacred poles for themselves on every high hill and under every leafy tree. There, on all the high places, they burned incense like the nations whom the Lord had sent into exile at their coming. They did evil things that, prov they did evil things that provoked the Lord and served idols, although the Lord had told them, you must not do this. And though the Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and seer, give up your evil ways and keep my commandments and statutes in accordance with the entire law which I enjoined on your fathers and which I sent you by my servants, the prophets. They did not listen, but were as stiff-necked as their fathers who had not, um, who had not, believed in the Lord their God. They rejected his statutes and the covenants which he had made with their fathers and the warnings which he had given them. The vanity they pursued, they themselves became, they fo followed and surrounding nations whom the Lord had commanded them not to imit imi imitate. They disregarded all the commandments of the Lord their God and made for themselves two molten calves and also made a sacred pole and worshipped all the host of heaven and served Baal. They immolated their sons and daughters by fire, practiced for fortune telling and divination, and sold themselves into evil doing in the Lord's sight, provoking him till in his great 
anger against Israel, the Lord put them away out of his sight. Only the tribe of Judah was left. Even the people of Judah, however, did not keep the commandments of the Lord their God, but followed the rites practiced by Israel. So the Lord rejected the whole race of Israel. He afflicted them and delivered them over to plunderers, finally casting them out from before him. When he tore Israel away from the house of Jake, from the house of David, they made Jeroboam, son of Nebat, king. He drove the Israelites away from the Lord, causing them to commit a great sin. The Israelites imitated, imitated Jeroboam in all the sins he committed, nor would they desist from them. Finally, the Lord put Israel away out of his sight as he foretold through all his servants. The, the prophets and Israel went into exile from their native soil to Assyria, an exile lasting to the present. The king of Assyria brought people from Babylon, Katha, Eva, Hamath, and Sepharvim, and settled them in the cities of Samaria in place of the Israelites. They took possession of Samaria and dwelt in its cities. When they first settled there, they did not venerate the Lord. So he sent lions among them and ki so he sent lions among them that killed some of their number. A report reached the king of Assyria. The nations whom you deported and settled in the cities of Samaria do not know how to worship the God of the land. And he has sent lions among them that are killing them, since they do not know how to worship the God of the land. The king of Assyria gave the order, send back one of the priests whom I deported <coughs> to go there and settle to teach them how to worship the God of the land. God of the land. So one of the priests who had been deported from Samaria returned and settled in Bethel and taught them how to venerate the Lord. But these peoples began to make their own gods in the various cities in which they were living, in the, in the shrines, on the high places which the Samar Samaritans had made, each people set up gods. Thus the Babylonians made Murdoch, Mur Marduk and his consort, the men of Kuth made, Nergal, the men of Hamath made, Ashima, the men of Ava made, Nibahaz, and Tartak, and the men of Sarav Safarvim, immolated their children by fire to their city gods, King Hadad and his consort, Anath. They also venerated the Lord, choosing from their number of priests, for the high places who officiated for them in the shrines on the high places. But while venerating the Lord, they served their own gods, following the worship of the nations from among whom they had been deported. To this day, they worship according to their ancient rites. They did not venerate the Lord, nor observe the statutes and regulations, the law and commandments which the Lord enjoined on the descendants of Jacob, whom he had named Israel, who he had named Israel. When he made a covenant with them, he commanded them, you must not venerate other gods, nor worship them, nor serve them, nor offer sacrifice to them. The Lord who brought you up from the land of Egypt with great power and outstretched arm, him shall you venerate, him shall you worship, and to him shall you sacrifice. You must be careful to observe forever the statutes and regulations, the law and commandments which he wrote for you, and you must not venerate other gods. The covenant which I made with you, you must not forget, you must not venerate other gods, but the Lord your God you must venerate. It is he who will deliver you from the power of all your enemies. They did not listen, however, but continued in their earlier manner. Thus these nations venerated the Lord, but also served their idols and their sons and grandsons to this day are doing as their fathers did. The kingdom of Judah after 721 BC. Chapter 18. Hezekiah. We will begin tomorrow. Hezekiah.
that will close the brand new Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, God, for helping us to survive another day. We pray to you. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.